Hi Combi Lovers, uh, just uh, want to do a short video to show you guys um, some common, uh, common things to look at when buying a Combi, a uh, bay window Combi anywhere from your low lights to the, uh, the late 60s to, to 80 uh, yeah. and um, just to go through um, the car from front to back just to have a, a, a quick look at some of the, the major things to look at um, while you're looking at buying one on the side of the road or whatever so just start at the front um, they come on uh, the rust under this uh, window seal here you'll see there's a bit of filler there so the chances are we're going to have um, um, a bit of rust hidden under there and I uh, don't think it's too bad compared to some that I've owned um, this A pillar here needs to be looked at they commonly rust and there's a quite expensive issue to get that fixed so have a good look make sure it's, there's uh, no rust there going down the side here I always rust here so um, there's a little bit of rust on this one that I bought about a year ago a few little pinholes someone has um, put fill there in the past go inside and I will show you uh, the fill there always look along this seam there's a bit there um, see this filler there because it's, it's it's smooth and it's um, and it all goes all the way up to there so so there's uh, going to be a little bit of rust hidden under there this one was originally green someone's painted a flipper blue so I will restore it back to its uh, green and white this dog little lower sill have a look there always rust along here this one's actually quite good that area there, I've obviously yeah, I've dug it all out and just left it nice and dry for, uh, to, to repair it in the future. So I'm happy to leave it like that for a time. Now going inside, um, let's check the lower of the doors. See so there's a few rust holes there I'm starting. Uh, very minor, nothing really to worry about, but um, nonetheless it must be looked at. Going inside, you can see some um, filler there. So while you're there, obviously you look up that seam, and make sure it's it's nothing worse. So obviously that's okay. Obviously you always pull up these these mats. They commonly rust under here. The other side, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys later. All right. <clears throat> now just while we're inside, um, this B pillar here, it's got some rust that I found that's hidden under this mat. So I've dug all that out and that'll have to be welded up. All right. So always pull up your mats to have a look. This side. This side, there's some rust holes there. The window seals are all leaking, so they may look fine, but the water does seep down and then get trapped and start rusting out the floor. Now, with the middle seat, it gets um, attached to the floor. Um, there's a low bit there, so all the water will sit there, and with all the dust and dirt, it will start rusting out your floor. So make sure you check check those. All right. Okay, so very common on all these buses. So just show you the areas on mine. So always look on the seal. All right, I'll run the finger over there. Um, this side's actually quite good, quite solid. So I was happy about that. All right, these quarter windows. Always check. There you can see this it's a little bit lumpy, but they're actually not too bad. So I might be able to save those. Um, they're going along. Door hinges can be quite expensive to fix. Make sure there's um, not too much play in this pivot there. Uh, you can usually rock it up and down, actually um, um, overhaul this one. So that one's actually working quite well at the moment. Um, 
here there's a bit of rust under this window here so always check there make sure it's not too bad so you can look under there and uh, always have a look under there to see if there's anything nasty hidden all right so keep going along these seals they do commonly rust along here as well with the floor inside where the battery plate gets um, well to their water and she gets trapped so have a look at that there's some filler there all right I don't know if it's rust or it's just um, been dinted so always have a look down here there was rust here all right you'll see a bit of a bit of rust something get quite bad there all right so while we're here so let's have a look in there all right check these hoses that's a t-piece i replaced it was split with the from the fuel tank so if you breathe the hoses all right and there's many more in there where the fuel tank goes um we should all be replaced if you have any fume smells um carburetors check the linkages there's a bit of play in this in this one here all right so check that I'll actually clean these clean these out and replace all the seals and gaskets in them that plate doesn't bother me too much but it's something i'll have to have a look at in the future They're not leaking or anything all right so it's your battery um they usually get rusted out there from the acid from the battery now while we're at the engine also just check the end plate just get a screwdriver and you can leave it all right make sure it doesn't clunk back and forward all right so, because that could mean the engines are due for replacement or repair. All right. While we're here in the engine, it's a bit of an oil leak on this one here. That's from the fuel pump gaskets. All right. And just a minor one from there. That's unplugged. Otherwise. Um, the hole there on the muffler. Alright. Now always check your filler. Alright. There's a, there's a rubber elbow in here. Alright, so you can stick a finger in there. Always stick a finger in there and feel. Make sure it's not all split. Because that can cause fire issues and fuel smells. All right, so going along the sill. <coughs> okay. You'll find there's a few rust holes on this one here. Very minor, but they totally rust out all the way. Along there. Looking underneath. That's that rust hole from the uh, center seat. Where it gets bolted onto, so that's something I'm going to have to get fixed there. Apart from that. Which is not too bad. All right, uh, this side, the driver's side door again, rust, pinholes, that's easily repaired, very minor. All right, this side has been welded, someone's put a plate in there, um, so very important to look under that rubber step, accelerator pedal. Oh, it's just being repaired. <coughs> so looking underneath, <coughs> I'll see this seal as well. This one's all good. Right we're under here, you can see someone's done a pretty cheap repair to the accelerator pedal hinge. And then on that side here, they've welded a plate in there. <coughs> While we're underneath, Show your ball joints because they're expensive to replace. Big job. Those boots are split. And once they get split, the dirt and water gets in there and they'll destroy your joints. The other side's okay, but one of these joints have has failed. Brake pedal return spring. 
they always break. Okay, that one's good. If it's broken, it'll just be rattling around. Alright. So have a good look in there where they commonly rust all in through there. But this one is alright. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Um, just a few things to look at when buying a bay, some of the major things. Now, um, one more thing I forgot to forgot. The roof at the back here. Always check up there, make sure there's um, no fill. Um, a lot of them will have fill there, but just check to make sure that it has it's been repaired nicely with metal. Alright guys. Well I hope that's helped. It's just to give you a quick rundown of little things to look at when and where to look at on your bay window. Happy combing guys and uh